Hey, good morning, and welcome to today's five-minute message. We are in the book of 1 John. We're in chapter 1. But before I get started, I want to share with you <clears throat> a conversation that I've had with many, many people, and maybe you can relate. Have you ever had a conversation with somebody that goes something like this? Hey, how was your day today? Good. Oh, what was your favorite part of today? I don't know. Do you want to do anything later? No. And it just goes on and on and on like that where you're so excited, you're trying to talk to somebody, they just give you these curt, short, one-word answers. There's no back and forth. You're given, you're given, and you're given, and you're not getting, and you're not getting, and you're not getting. What's missing? What's missing is a lack of fellowship, something in common. Something's not right here. Today, as we continue in the book of 1 John, we're going to think about the idea of fellowship. Because in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 3, John's going to talk to us about fellowship. Last week, we thought about the idea of, about Jesus bringing life. And today, <clears throat> as we're seeing Jesus, Jesus is going to bring fellowship in verse 3. Let's read 1 John chapter 1 in verse 3. <laughs> That which we have seen and heard, we declare to you, that you, may all, that you may also have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Last week, we thought about the idea about Jesus bringing life. We thought about the idea of eternal life and what it means to have eternal life and repenting of your sins and trusting in the finished work of Jesus Christ for your eternal salvation. He paid a price that you couldn't pay on the cross so that you could enjoy time with him. And that's why he's going to switch to this idea now of fellowship. What is fellowship? Fellowship is the Greek word koinonia. It means to have things together in common. Uh, maybe that's a relationship. Maybe that's uh, a lot of different things. Oh, you've got the same grill that I've got or... Oh, you went to that same school too, and all of a sudden you're buddy-buddy, and you're going to talk about old memories of being at that school together. Oh, when did you graduate? And you're just going to go on and on. Oh, you worked at that store too? Boy, I worked at that store when I was in high school. What was it like there? What was the manager's name? When I, you know, and you're going to go on and on. You've got something in common now, and you're going to have that kind of bond, and now you've made a friend, and it's really cool, and you're together now. You've got some sort of thing to bond over. Did you know... That in our Christian lives, we also have something in common, something that we can bond over. We can bond in the fact that we both have Jesus Christ as our Savior. And if you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, we won't have that in common. And we won't be able to share our common experiences or talk about what God has done for us in our lives or what we're praying about or seeing answers to prayer or time at church. What's the last sermon you listened to? How are, us, how, how are you growing in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ? Tell me about your last Bible study. Those are really fun questions to have with other believers and we can share our common experience with Jesus. We don't have to have those kinds of conversations where it's like, well, how was church? Good. We're supposed to be lively, encouraging. We're supposed to be thrilled about spending time with Jesus. We're supposed to be worshiping him. We can have that in common. He says, truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Do you have fellowship with Jesus. Have you accepted him as your savior? Are you going to church? Are you listening to sermons? Is your walk worthy of the calling with which you are called? Are you trying to disciple other believers? Are you trying to lead people to Jesus? Do you have any of these stories that you can share with me today? If so, Put them in the comments below. Tell me about your time at church. Tell me about a favorite sermon. Tell me about something that you're doing with your Christian walk. Because we do have that kind of common thing together where we can talk about our walk with the Lord. Jesus does indeed bring us fellowship. Have a great day.